YouTube. What is going on, y'all? It's your boy Young Texas, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. In today's video, you are going to learn exactly why Forward Intel is the absolute best perk to run in Call of Duty Vanguard, and it is in the perk two slot. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. All right, so we got hard point here on USS Texas. Now the actual point of this gameplay, if you take a look up at the mini map, you'll see those little pink diamonds. Now, of course, on your mini map, they might look a little bit different. They might uh, be a different color rather, depending on your colorblind settings and different visual settings you have. However, you will still have the diamonds. They will be that shape. They will be that size if you run forward intel now why is forward intel the best perk if you can't already tell those diamonds appear in the locations that your enemies happen to spawn in which means that at pretty well all times you know where your enemies are spawning which means you'll never truly be surprised by a spawn flip. Now, of course, maybe on a map like USS Texas, it's not necessarily that tricky to figure out where your enemies are spawning. However, if you have control of mid map and you are perhaps up top in one of these rooms that I'm looking at right here, and you are absolutely just beaming your enemies out of spawn, you might not know that they've actually flipped and now they're going to be coming up behind you so you got to turn around maybe watch the stairs maybe quickly maneuver to the other room on the other side so you can get a view on that spawn because of course that being said you will know that they are coming from that other side already solely because of forward intel like right now i know that my teammates somehow didn't see that, guys. That's the first thing I know. Um, however, what I do know is that they are currently spawning on the right side as well. I can kind of tell based on where those diamonds are placed on the map as well that they're they're on the right side of the spawn, or they're, they're spawning on the right side, I should say. This started off as a really, really like good gameplay for me, and I was actually playing pretty dang well. And quickly it has turned on its head and I'm getting absolutely beamed however not because of forward Intel or not because of you know I'm not able to know where they're spawning but simply because I'm, I'm getting beamed um, so now is a good point where I can tell that spawns a flip because I look at forward Intel or I look at my mini map rather and forward Intel tells me that they are now spawning on the other side of the map you can see clearly oh actually this is a perfect example i saw that diamond pop up and knew that there was someone who had spawned actually right behind me i was able to read it correctly i just wasn't able to um, go ahead and get that kill so now i know they're spawning of course right in front of me on the other side of the map they're kind of spawning on the back right side and now the back left side so i know that based on where they're spawning how they're uh, perhaps going to be pushing. I heard someone, I heard something about a flying fortress in coming in. I don't know, they're spawning behind me. Oh, there's this one guy who's uh, up behind me. They're still spawning on the, this side of the map here. Looks like they're uh, spawning more heavy on the right side there. Got some enemies over to my left. Again, shout out to Forward Intel. Those little diamonds tell all. I was a little too focused on the uh, guys that were all in front of me rather than looking at the minimap to see that there was someone spawning right up close. Of course, it is them that has that ball turret gunner, so hopefully I can uh, hopefully I can get out of my my spawn because right now I can't. Right now I'm trapped. I know that they're spawning on the right side of the map just now right in front of me. I know that there's now one person behind me, however. I did see that diamond, but now I know that the majority of the enemies are on this side of the map. And there we go. I'm able to get a kill there. There we go. Thankfully, my teammate was able to help me out. 
That person came out of absolutely nowhere, ran a little flank, I think, through the bottom ship. I'm just going to uh, basically try and do that myself because I know that they are spawning on that back left side. Easy kill there, easy kill there. They're still kind of spawning on that back left side. Back right side now it looks like actually. Um, now I can use that intel to move myself forward, no pun intended, knowing that I'm probably gonna have two people right here. One. And the second one is right there. And I know that they have another teammate that's likely to come off spawn. And, yep, there we go. And again, likely going to be one or two right here. Maybe they'll push on top of that. Would definitely be unfortunate and unlucky. So I'm going to take... Oh, that could have been uh, really weird timing. So I'm going to take that chance and push up. I know they have some enemies spawning over underneath. They're spawning in that um, yep, there he goes. I know I have an enemy there. I know I have an enemy right inside this doorway as well, though. Let's see. There's some enemies back here. Hello there. There's some enemies spawning up over here. It's like enemy reinforcement and stuff. It's not perfect, and it's not necessarily like forward intel is going to... I mean, it, I, I should say for what it's worth, granted, a lot of that 10 kill streak was because forward intel, I didn't mean, know where they were coming from. Um, I must say, forward intel is, for what it's worth, a tell-all. You're going to know every little thing you need to know about your enemy's positioning. Because of forward intel, I... you know when they're spawning, where they're spawning, and if you kind of have some game sense to go along with that, you'll know that for a game mode like Hardpoint. If they spawn at a certain location, what is the most likely route that these enemies are going to take? Um, for me, I can obviously tell that as I die, say an enemy spawns directly in front of me on the back side of that ship. Although the Hardpoint's on the right side for me, be on the left side for them, yes. Some of them will take the direct route and they will just fly up the map, try to get right to the hard point so that they can get their hard point time. However, I also am very aware that some enemies will push up this side as they are right now because they'll want to either get a flank, they'll want to get kills on people that are trying to push up into their spawn and knowing where they're spawning allows me to generally know how many there are as well. Like I know there's one person coming off spawn right here. He's, a, he's going up top. Of course he is. That was easy. I now know that there's two back here. One, two. There's the second one. Couldn't get them. Granted, he is still there. Uh, teammate got him. So that's definitely a plus of forward intel is also knowing how many people are spawning where they are. Granted, now it looks like my teammate has a, uh... <laughs> so my teammate called in local informants, or maybe we just have a triple UAV, I'm not really sure. So, I suppose when you get to that point, you don't really need forward intel to tell you where they're spawning, because you have local informants. Um, okay, they're still coming out spawn behind me. I'm just really concerned about... Okay, that guy was AFK. I was gonna say, I'm very concerned about the person that's like... In this build, I feel like if I peek out too much, they're gonna hit me. But they, uh, they were, they were AFK. So I was actually, I was safe, more than safe. And that's an easy GG with 57 kills, second most in the lobby, most amount of points though, because I think this guy is the guy that had the uh, the ball turret gunner. But we got that easy win, and I gotta say, a lot of those kills were made possible, and a lot of my my streaks. And a lot of my positioning and the way I played was made possible and influenced by the use of the forward intel perk.